Hey guys, Jason here. Uh, I've gotten a couple of requests about how to overlay parcel lines into Google Earth without a subscription or a paid service like Parlay or MapRite. Um, this is something that's pretty easy to do. It will take you a few minutes to learn how to do it um, initially, but it becomes easier. Um, eventually, you could probably buy a service like Parlay and save some time, uh, or you could train your VA to do this and it would be fine. In my experience, the accuracy is about the same. So um, it's important, and here we are in data tree, um, it's important to have a place that has some roadways or some kind of terrain. If it's literally just like an open piece of desert and there's nothing, it would be pretty much impossible to do. But most of your scenery has some sort of terrain. Uh, if not, you could actually zoom out and see a highway or something else, woods and these, these things. They're gonna help us align the image. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna zoom in here um, we're going to find, let's say I want to find this property or this one. Let's just say this particular property right here. Okay, um, Arthur Nelson owns that. So we're going to go ahead and um, just make a snip. Okay, we're going to get a new, start a snip. And so I'm going to try to get some, some of the terrain around the area. Okay, um, which gives me some things to line up. There we go. We're going to save that to my desktop somewhere. Just this property snip, we'll replace that one. Okay. And then I'm gonna jump over here into Google Earth. Now it's important when you get in Earth, um, it's important to hold control down and drag up because Earth always seems to get some sort of an angle like this. Um, so just hold control down and drag upward and it will straighten it out. You need to be looking straight down Okay, and then we're going to overlay this image. Go up here to Add Image Overlay, click the button, browse and find your file. Now, grab this and put the opacity down to roughly 50%-ish. Okay, 50% or so, somewhere in there. Drag this box over here, but do not close it or the image will disappear. Um, and then you're going to just play around with this overlay. So um, if I need to turn it, I grab the little diamond and I can see that I'm way off. So I'm going to move the, the roadway up here. I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to play around with the size of this. So what you need to do first is kind of resize your image until you get it into the rough shape and size that's needed. Great thing is when there's driveways and roads and things, you can just simply, you could see like right here, this house I'm looking at. And since this doesn't have enough detail, I can see that as I drag that over, it gets to the place where it just about lines up. Now I can see it very clearly in the image here, uh, which is showing me that it's lined up. All right, and then uh, we're gonna do the same thing over here. You can see it's pulled over. Probably the image is skewed a little. I need to drag it just a touch more. And we're getting pretty close. You can see line, lining up down here. Pretty close right there. Important to grab the corners because that will resize the image as you line it up. Um, so then the final step is I, it looks pretty good to me. The road looks pretty good. The driveways look pretty good. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just like play with the opacity again of the image. And if it doesn't seem like it's moving, if 
you're out of alignment, if you move this up or down, your image is gonna move a lot. So I can see that I am actually just a touch off here on this pond. So I'm gonna fix that. Everything looks really good, it's not moving at all. Okay, so what I need to do is I need to just click OK to save this, and then the image overlay is there in place. Okay, um, it's just another filter. So what I'm gonna go in is, I can't remember exactly which property we said we were gonna look at, maybe this one. I'm gonna draw a KML for this property. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, just draw my KML file on my polygon, find the corners. If you're worried about accuracy, you can go in a lot closer. There we go. Um, so I'll save that as um, property one. Okay, and then I just go back here to my image overlay and I undo it. So I remove that filter and I have my, my property. And then that stays there. So if I wanna see the neighboring property, and you could actually save it, save this as a KML as well, the image overlay, and it will overlay, when you open it, it will go right back to the exact same place you left it. So you could potentially overlay and take a few minutes and get it really good on an entire neighborhood if you're buying multiple properties there, you can just keep that. And so let's say I wanna, I wanna mark this one, right? Um, so I just popped it back up and there's my property lines again. Okay, and then I just go ahead and get rid of it, and now I've got two of them overlaid into the uh, polygon, which I can save as a KML. Uh, so that's how it's done in Google Earth. Uh, doesn't cost anything, takes a couple minutes of your time. It becomes easier um, as you go, and as you learn how to do it, you can really do one of those quite quickly. And like I said, you can even do a larger um, subdivision or a larger image. Um, very quick and easy to do. Remember, this is GIS imagery, satellite imagery, so there is a margin for an error. There's a margin for error, obviously, in your overlays, too. It's not a ground survey or anything like that. Um, but it's about as accurate as Parlay's lines, um, in my experience. Okay, thanks for watching. Hope that helps.